this is mine. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put Stephanie's stuff over by with the other unopened. Okay. Hi guys, good morning. Today is Thursday and right now I'm all by myself in my office because today um, I'm alone. <laughs> so um, today we have two lots of things, you guys. Uh, first of all, look at this um, gorgeous pink folder that I have here. This is where I've been keeping all of the storyboards for uh, Arrhenius, my upcoming graphic novel, and I'm about to finish actually, you guys, the storyboard, which is unbelievable. I think I'm 10, less than 10 pages away from the script. This is Ed's script, and usually I use the dialogue in the script to um, reorganize the, again, dialogue in between um, these pages. So I'm really excited to finally finish finish because it's just the beginning of this project uh, but I set the goal for this year to finish the storyboard and I think I'm going to make it also I have these marvelous snacks oh um challenge wise I don't know if you guys remember but I'm doing the 500 greatest albums of all time by the Rolling Stone magazine and yesterday I had to listen to Metallica Metallica album oh my god what a nice album is actually it's one of the one of Ed's favorite albums of all time and it's so I, I guess interesting and unbelievable to listen to a band that so many other bands now are based their music on did I make sense what I just said yeah so I'm really excited to it's been it's been really interesting to be doing this challenge because now I get it's not that I suddenly know about music <laughs> but at least I can say, oh yeah, I've listened to Metallica before. And it's something that um, I have never done before. And um, what else? So right now I have to listen to Otis reading Dictionary of Soul and later on Bruce Springsteen, The River. I think this is not my first Bruce Springsteen because I think there's another one like previously. So yeah, also today I think I'm going to, there you go, I think today I'm going to, I think today I'm going to work on some stickers because I would love to launch um, a couple of stickers on the shop before Christmas. Um, I don't know, if we're going to make it on time, but I think I want to... Um, I'm going to try at least to have a couple. Good morning, today is Tuesday and I was just editing the video that you just watched and I realized I never show you the final result of the studio so I want to show you really quickly how it looks like a little right it looks like right now I don't know if you remember guys what the hello the office used to look like before this but we had a wall made from 
boxes and we clear all of the space and we put the heat press and this table in order to um, iron or um, sew t-shirts. These are the new t-shirts that we're going to launch next month in November. I really wanted to get out of my comfort zone and buy uh, more colors available like white um, and black. I mean white, I already bought white, but anyway like uh, darker colors because I know probably you guys are really um, also into darker colors and not only like pastel shades and white shades. Um, so look at all of these precious babies. So yeah, we clear this area and now I move the uh, mirror this way. Um, everything in this area sort of like stayed the same. This is still the area in which I am working and Lou works here. This is, okay, this is where the chaos starts because um, I bought two sort of like bookshelves that will go on the wall. Well, how do you say that? Anyway, uh, where I'm going to put all of my books and graphic novels and stuff like that. So all of this space will eventually clear it up. And I don't know if you guys can see, but here in the back, I have two printers that are sadly <laughs> on the floor and I would love to put them uh, on like a proper space. So the reason why I, I didn't want to do an office tour just yet, like a studio tour just yet, is because still this area, my loves, it looks super messy because it is. Welcome to the mess, my loves. So all of the boxes that you see right now are a combination between mine and Ed's. Um, Ed also has um, an online shop, an online store. So I'm still keeping up with his scenes because they were um, storage all the way from Hastings, so I still have them. And I've always wanted to have this aisle situation, so to speak, because I don't know if you can see, guys, but my studio is really long. And this area, since it's darker in comparison to the lightest, <laughs> the lighter part of the studio, I wanted to keep this area as a storage slash aisle area. So I think Lou and I managed to organize this space better because now that whole back, like this, that whole chunk of my studio is way more clear and this is like where the all of the mess is. So here, for example, is where I keep my screens for doing screen printing. Um, like I said, here are all the scenes, um, packing supplies, uh, paper and stickers. These are the compostable uh, bags that I use for the shop. Uh, here are all the envelopes and more packing supplies. And on this side we have the coffee break area <laughs> where the oat milk is and all of the snacks are. Here we have tissue paper and some planners and calendars. Uh, here are the uh, year one planners, those are the year two, which were running really low. Um, and here I have like P.O. box goodies that I have to open eventually. I don't know if you guys see, but my mom threw a couple of tote bags that I would love to um, have for sale on the shop. I don't know if you guys would like to see tote bags. And here I have more packing supplies, more packing supplies. Um, this is the sticker area. Here's where I keep where we keep all of these stickers and more calendars, uh, my sewing machine, more packing supplies. These are, I don't know if you can see, but those are the plants. It's really dark up here, I'm so sorry. This is like the plant food for my plants. The <laughs> plant food for my plants, very nice. Uh, and here are all of the t-shirts that are already packed. So if you ever buy a t-shirt now, uh, you will get your code. I don't know if you guys remember this. Each t-shirt has its individual code. So Lou very kindly enough wrote down all of the codes um, and put them outside of the t-shirt instead of like having to check um, the code for each and every single t-shirt by opening the t-shirt. Does that make sense? Anyway, in terms of the drawers, this is another mess that I will have to organize really soon because um, Lou and I basically Oh man, we put this, we put all of the markers and the pencils and pens without any order whatsoever. So at some point this week, I will love to just like 
have some really nice coffee and put some mind into put some thoughts into where to put everything specifically so here for example i don't know if you can see i have some uh, paper and sketchbooks and stationery that i can use here i have some like art supplies i don't know if you can see but those are my um gouache inks uh watercolors um even some like porcelain slash clay paint that i use and over here i have like miscellaneous here are my uh, business cards and more markers but yeah as you guys can tell no nothing makes sense but here are like some um washi tapes and post-its and things that, like for general office supplies and yeah my my books uh, need some love as well i have so many books you guys <laughs> oh my god right now i think i'm going to keep working um slash editing this video and later on today i would love to um i also said this on this video already so i'm so sorry if i'm repeating myself but i would love to keep working on the stickers for my shop because i would love to have them ready soon i hope you enjoyed this video guys and thank you so much for all, all your love and comments on last week's video regarding what is happening in my country. I still feel super weird to be uploading things when so many people are um, struggling and having a really horrible time back in my country. Um, a couple of you guys asked me what you guys can do regarding what is happening, like what you can do like to help or um, anything and you knowing what is happening and you uh, sharing what is happening in Chile is more than enough. We need help to make like a conscious effort to make people aware of what is happening because unfortunately so many of the information that is go going abroad from Chile to like other countries is being either censored or, um, or it's being written incorrectly. Uh, because of the media and whatnot. So I beg you, please share what is happening. Let's just all create aware awareness of what is happening in Latin America in general. Uh, but thank you so much, you guys, for being so understanding. Um, I really feel weird, again, uploading this, but I feel like so many of you want to know what is happening and how can you get involved and how you guys can help. So thank you so much for being so good to us the chileans because we're now suffering a lot so if you know a chilean person please hug that person <laughs> because god knows we need those hugs and not only hugs but um just like people being aware of what is happening so thank you so much for being here and uh, for your support thank you so much patreons for all your love and support uh, again, like helping me be able to rent this studio and pay for snacks and to basically allow my, like allow myself, I was going to say, allow me to keep doing what I do, creating graphic novels, uploading videos. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, patrons. I love you guys so much and I will, we'll see each other next week. Bye guys.